15 February, 1785. Dear Reverend Newton, I wish to have some serious correspondence with you. I've had 10,000 doubts within myself as to whether or not I should discover myself to you. But every argument against it has its foundation in pride. I'm sure you will hold yourself bound to let no one living know of this application or of my visit until I have released you from obligation. P.S. Remember that I must be secret and that the gallery of the house is now so universally attended that the face of a member of parliament is, is pretty well known. <coughs> Sincerely yours, William Wilberforce, member of parliament. Good afternoon, Reverend Newton. Thank you for agreeing to see me on such short notice and under such furtive pretenses. I was so nervous upon entering your home that I, I walked this way surrounding your house several times until I could be sure no one was watching you. Forgetting the things which are behind. Often the past is used. 
by the enemy to cripple us with fear. Like a stag, in the moments before it is hunted, paralyzed for a brief instant. I wonder, though, Mr. Wilberforce, is there not something you could do to save thousands of souls while remaining in Parliament? What did you have in mind? This business of the slave trade, you know my past, my thoughts on it. Why not use your passion, your blemished past, to motivate you to do the unthinkable? Into this abomination, into this merciless treatment of our fellow human brothers and sisters. Do give it thought. And know you will be in my prayers. Yes. I shall use on it deeply, Mr. Newton. Thank you again for seeing me. It, it's such a time of turmoil. God bless.
Mediterranean service, sailing six voyages before he retired. My father made plans for me to work at a sugarcane plantation in Jamaica. Instead, I signed with a merchant ship, sailing to the Mediterranean Sea. While going to visit friends, I was pressed into the Royal Navy and became a midshipman aboard the HMS Harwich. My time there was miserable, and at one point I tried to desert. for the life. 
likes to stand, whether it's real or not. I mean, listen, I'll tell you one thing, all right? I'm getting the hell off this blood and float in prison. <laughs> but whatever it takes, I told you. If Conrad Hitchy told my daddy, he'd be taken a whip that time. Mike Nonsense, I'm no fool. I have a plan. No, oh, he has a plan. <laughs> Midshipman John Newton, you have been found guilty of desertion of His Majesty's Royal Navy, and the sentence of fifty lashes has been meted out. Your rank and wage will be reduced. If it weren't for the good repute of your father, Admiral Newton, I would have hung you from the mast. Count yourself fortunate. I'd rather die. You just let me die. <laughs> die, would you? I say that. There'll be ample opportunity for that on the cursed island where I'm sending you. Officer Lewis, see to it this man disembarks my ship at the first sight of land. Oi, oi, Captain. Oh, I guess. Oh, I'm cute, you know. 
point, I was living the most impious and depraved life. I blasphemed well beyond mere expletives or common profanity. Though I did not even love liquor, I drank heavily, just to indulge my passion for inventing new obscenities, taking the Lord's name in vain and engaging in endless debaucheries. So I 
I be dismayed when things not happen as you wish and desire? Is there anyone who has everything as he wishes? Riches and material things are uncertain and very burdensome because they are never possessed without anxiety and fear. Man's happiness does not consist in the possession of abundant goods. Uh, very little <laughs> is enough. How could that be flawed? Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all his righteousness, and these things will be added unto you. For what has a man profited, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? And what shall a man give, in exchange for his soul? This is God's word, and it is the truth. Okay, I'm here. Yes, sir. Oh, sir, one more thing. The Bible also says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Peace, the Savior is the Prince of Peace. Bless you, sir. You know, you're mean when you drink, John.